How y'all doing tonight? Well, I posted up in the Dehydrating Rebels Facebook group that I was dehydrating ham. And I posted up a picture of it before I dehydrated it. And now I want to show y'all what it looks like afterwards. There you go. That's what it looks like afterwards. If my freaking phone will focus. Come on. There you go. All right. This is what it looks like. All dehydrated. Brown and tough. It kind of looks like jerky. But it's really, really good. What am I, people ask me what I do with my dehydrated ham. Well, some of it I will grind up and I will use as a background flavor. As a filling flavor. That way, you know, you get notes of that in the dish. Other things that I do with it is what I'm going to show you right here in a second. I make soups out of it. So let me get everything set up and I'll be right back. Okay, just for fairness of everything, this is going to be down and dirty. I'm not going to spend a lot of time measuring out stuff. Um, so, hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing and imitate it. And I hate being in a rush, but I have to be in, I have to be in bed pretty soon. Normally I stay up real late. I do videos. Tonight I can't. I've got to be in Indianapolis tomorrow morning. To take some physicals and all that. So, all right. So we got chicken bouillon with a little bit of herb in it, what it says. And I'm going to put one teaspoon, one teaspoon. <coughs> and all right, now then, ah, oh, there's my cups. I was wondering where everybody put my stuff when I'm not home and they put away dishes. They put it in places that they think it needs to go. And that's okay. We're good with that. All right. There's my, there's, there's that. Now, this is my veg oil powder. If you don't know how to make veg oil powder. You just take mixed vegetables, grind, dehydrate it, grind it. And this is what you're going to get. And I'm putting in two teaspoons in there. That's going to be your spice mix. All right. I'm also going to be putting in a thickener. Now, this is dehydrated potato. It's been ground down, some most of it. Some of it hasn't, but most of it's been ground down. And I'm going to use this as a thickener. That is another teaspoon. Maybe two. Let's do two. If I remember correctly, it didn't work out good last time. Anyway, so there's two of those. Now we're going to get down to the meat and potatoes, literally. This is my dehydrated potatoes. Y'all haven't never seen them before. There they are. Ain't they looking beautiful? Don't they look beautiful? Good color on that. All right, so we're going to take a half a cup. And we're going to fill it up twice and make the whole cup out of it. This is going to be the bulk. All right. These are dehydrated mushrooms. I'm not going to use a whole lot of these. I don't have a lot left. But we're going to use a quarter teaspoon, a quarter cup, I mean. So we're not going to use a whole lot. So I don't want any one flavor to overpower the other. Um, so, because we're going to have the star of the show right here, my dehydrated ham. Now, this ham has been dehydrated. If you can hear this, or see this, it just snaps. You want to put in enough pieces that you're going to be comfortable with in a meal. Uh, that, that's two, and I'm breaking them up. Don't want big pieces in here. Big pieces are harder to 
hydrate. Let's break them up. And I meant to dehydrate some of my some of my chicken broth this weekend and I didn't. I only can some. So that's the way it goes. So everybody was talking to me on dehydration rebels. There you go. That's a quick and dirty soup. I'm gonna call this my ham and bacon with mushroom soup. Oh wait a second. I know what we could add. Hold on. Everybody likes broccoli. Dehydrate broccoli. I've seen a hundred thousand posts about I dehydrated broccoli. Well, here you go. Take some broccoli. Dehydrated. You just drop it down in there. That simple. That simple. To get a really good meal. On the road. I am a truck driver. I do take my meals on the road. I'll put that into a food saver bag and I'll food save it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and like I always say, be good, be safe, and I'll see you when I see you.